Hello guys and girls. Some time ago I asked you about how well gravity is implemented in Isonzo. By this I did not mean the bug where you fall through the map, but I was talking about, or what I meant is, the physical propagation of gravity. So 70% of you thought that it is partially implemented, 17% said that it is completely implemented and 30% of you think that it is poorly implemented. So, to settle this matter, I decided to investigate three phenomena. The first one is determining the gravitational acceleration value. The second one is about bullet drop. <coughs> there is none. And lastly, the third phenomena is that if you are throwing something with two angles that together up, up to 90 and that they are equally divided from 45, they, the, the, the thing you are throwing ends in the same uh, place. So before I dive into this, I would like to thank Peter, a friend of mine, for his help. Uh, here you can see the test subject walking down a wall. Not jumping, but walking off. Uh, here you can see him pointing his rifle, which we will use as a point of reference for determining the height. So he was using the Carabiner M90, which is 1005 millimeters long. In paint, I did determine the starting and ending pixel, position in horizontal direction. Thus, I had the information I needed to convert pixels to length. Now I have to decide the height of the wall from where he is falling down. And by converting the pixel values, I got to a value of 6.33 meters. Now that we know the height, we need to know the time required for the moment he starts falling and when he touches the ground. I determined the time in the video editing program. I was looking at the frame when he just started to fall. I checked the time. The time was in one thousandth of a second. And then I checked when he touched the ground. I did this three times to have more results. So yeah, uh, usually we calculate the height of a falling object when we know how long it was airborne or we calculate, you know, the height. It's rare for us to calculate the gravitational acceleration because, you know, we are on Earth and we are using the value of Earth. So for us to work, we will have to turn this equation around. And we get that the base equation is that height equals g, the gravitational acceleration, multiplied by the squared value of time. And both are divided by 2. If, however, you want to calculate G, we need to turn this equation around the set and we get that G equals two times the height divided by the time squared. By imputing the values I got earlier, I got three different values for G. I hope that it would be equal to the gravitational acceleration of Earth, which is roughly 10 meters per second squared. But what we got are 18.12, 14.51 and 16.66, which differ for 45% and more. I can guarantee that the method used has a much smaller error. So we are not talking about the errors, but the game actually has a different value for G. I would say that my evaluation has an error from 5 to 10%. This is, you know, just an uh, estimate. It's not that I went and decided exactly and calculated relative errors and, you know, the absolute at the end. So, yeah. Isonzo has a different G than we have in real life. I guess this is due to balancing and also they realized that somewhere between, let's say, 15 and 16 is optimal for the game purposes. You know, if it was too low, imagine you could be jumping to some locations you're not supposed to and similar, you know? But yeah. So, now that we know the value of G, we can proceed to bullet drop, and as I did say earlier, it doesn't exist, but yet still, to prove it, uh, we did some tests. At a long range, of course, you know. So, if you throw something horizontal, this means, you know, in a level line, you can also imagine that we are firing a bullet. 
the object will start to fall towards the earth while moving forward. Ignoring air drag, the object velocity horizontally is the same, it doesn't change, while the velocity vertically, you know, pointing down, it's increasing because it's accelerating, you know, falling objects are accelerating. Thus, the object follows a trajectory and it starts to point more and more down. Let's go back now to the testing. So, the test subject, Peter, stood on the bridge on Piave while I sniped him from the castle tower. Note here it, it was not flat a trajectory, you know, it was not a straight line. So there was, you know, gravity, gravity should act differently. But for this test, we were trying to determine the speed of the bullet. So for that one, it's good. So uh, the test subject was looking at the tower uh, through a periscope as I used his footage to determine the starting time when the bullet started to fly. This was the muzzle flash of the rifle and it ended the moment the test subject perspective changed. It takes one or two frames to display that you are dead, but I did use the one when he wasn't using the periscope anymore. So we repeated this also at a longer distance of 424 meters. Uh, the, uh, the first one was shorter, I don't recall now. So we did find out that the bullet velocity of a Carcano rifle in game is between 530 and 588 meters per second, while in reality, for you gun nerds, from Wikipedia it says that World War I iterations were supposed to have a bullet velocity of 610 and up to 731 meters per second. So the bullet needs 0 0.585, so basically something more than half a second, to hit the target on the shortest distance. In this time, the bullet, uh, let me check the distance, the bullet traveled, so you will not say that I am talking shit out of my ass. Uh, so the shortest distance was 344 meters, while the longer was 424, yeah. Where was I? Okay, so the bullet needed to set 0 0.5.5 seconds to hit the target on the shorter di shortest distance. In this time, the bullet should have dropped by 2.48 meters. And this is using the lowest value for G of 14.5 meters per second squared. And yeah, the soldiers in the game are not that tall. In reality, keeping the values for G and the speed of the rifle of around 550 meters per second, if we aimed straight at the head of a target or a, let's say torso, it's a straight line, at a distance of 350 meters, and I said we held and we held the rifle at the height of 1.6 meters. We would be short. We would hit the ground 91.4 meters in front of the person. You know, we wouldn't even hit his leg. You know, we would be 100 meters off, and we are talking, you know, just of a distance of 350 meters. There is no bullet drop in this game, so when you're firing, you know, it's laser accuracy, it doesn't drop down. Still, you have to compensate targets that are moving left and right. This is due to the bullet delay. I could make a video about that if you would like. Uh, if, however, you still do not believe. We also took a shot where only the face was visible and the rest of the body was protected by sandbags. This happened at a distance of 175 meters on level ground this time using the lowest value for G and 550 meters per second for the bullet velocity for the rifle, we get that the bullet flies for almost 0.32 seconds and it drops by 0.73 meters. So for a shot of less than 200 meters, the bullet drop is more than 70 centimeters. And if you're just aiming at the head and the head is the only thing that you see, this means that in real life, the bullet would have missed because it would have fallen those 70 centimeters and instead of hitting the head, it would just hit the sandbags. But in the game, this doesn't happen. So it confirms again 
that there is no bullet drop. Now let's talk about trajectories. A trajectory is a path of a flying object. Uh, when we are throwing stuff, so I'm meaning that we are throwing at an angle, you know, we can achieve the longest distance when we throw at 45 degrees to the ground or to the vertical, you know, because 45 is just in between. This comes from the formula, but I will not bore you with this high school math and physics. What I will say, however, is, as I mentioned earlier, if the angles that are mirror to 45, let's take 40 and 50, both are 5 degrees apart from 45, one is plus 5 degrees and the, one, and the other one is minus 5 degrees. At these both angles, if the initial velocity is the same, we will achieve the same travel distance by the object. And it's the same, for example, if we take 30 and 60, 30 is 15 degrees under or minus 45, while 60 is 15 degrees above 45. Here you can see a graphic demonstration of what I'm talking. The green line is around 60 degrees, the blue one is around 30 degrees. For the, one, for the guys that are more precise, the blue one is uh, 63.5 and the green one is 26.5 degrees, but you know, practically 60 and 30, so to speak. Uh, so we did try to throw a grenade in an arc. Uh, it was hard to get, you know, an angle directly because first of all, in Isonzo, you cannot aim properly up vertically. Uh, you look, it looks like you're looking up, but when you're throwing, it doesn't work like that. So we tried to get to a 30 degree angle and then also have one at the 60 degrees. So. Uh, we did that and we marked the first grenade by a sniper shield and as you can see from the footage I did not do the best work for marking its location and when we throw the other grenade it fell relatively close I'm talking maybe one to two meters apart also it was a bit of a side movement we didn't throw in a perfect line but still this confirms that they implemented this effect and, you know, also grenades are not nice because they bounce a lot, you know, but the mechanic works. Yeah, it was relatively the same distance, you saw? No, I was looking up to the sky. <laughs> okay, okay, but... I also thought of... Uh, to calculate the throwing speed of a grenade, but sincerely, as the gravitational acceleration is off, I didn't feel like doing it. But even if you would like me to do it, if you wonder how strong, you know, the guys in his own so are. Uh, I can do it, or actually, you can do it yourself, you know, if you finished... Hell, this is primary school, basically, you know. You can use my footage, I will put it up. Do some screenshots, determine X and Y values, and then, you know, just calculate how much it dropped in a certain amount of time. You know what G is for the game, you can use something between 14.5 and... What was it? Uh, 18 point something? 18.12, yes. So you can take 16 as an average, let's say. And you can do it yourself, but yeah. Um, by the way, also let me know if you'd be interested uh, if I should do some other kind of videos that are, you know, instructive. You know, it's nice to do something instructive that also works in real life, outside games, you know. Uh, would you like me to talk about, uh, I don't know, for example, energetics? I, I do, I will talk about this a bit in some future episodes of Satisfactory, but you know, I could just make a dedicated video just about energetics, you know, how electricity is produced, the pros and cons on each type of energy production and that stuff, you know, there is a lot of interesting things, but I don't know what you like, guys, so I need your help. So, that's it for this video. Please share it with people who might be interested in it, comment, leave a like, this helps my channel out. Watch out for grenades, and I will see you all on the battlefields. Gaming teacher, out.